Development involving Wesley Fofana and his Leicester City future. That's why our senior reporter Rob Dorset has joined us on set. Right, Rob, what can you tell us about this? Right, well, look, we know that Wesley Fofana didn't play at the weekend. Brendan Rodgers said that his uh, mind wasn't in the right place. He wasn't in the right frame of mind. Of course, he's had two bids, seen them both rejected by Leicester from Chelsea um, for upwards of £60 million, and it's affected him. He wants to move. Um, and he wasn't in the right frame of mind, so Brendan Rodgers dropped him. And I think a lot of people thought at that stage, well, what does that mean? Does that mean if the player doesn't want to play for Leicester, if he's all over the place, will Leicester compromise? No, is the answer to that. I've had a couple of conversations this morning that have said that Leicester have no plans to reduce the asking price for Wesley Fofana, even though he's in a difficult place right now and wants to move. Um, so we see what happens next. But my understanding is, is that Leicester still want £80 million pounds plus for him, a, a, a world record fee for a defender. Of course, they made £80 million pounds from the sale of Harry Maguire three years ago. That's what they want now for, to be interested. They don't want to sell him five years left on his contract. And they believe, and I think this is key to it, that they can make Wesley Fofana happy again once the window closes. If the window closes and he's still a Leicester player, the people at Leicester, I believe, think that's OK, and including Brendan Rodgers, thinks that's OK. They think it's an unsettling time when the window's open and the season's going. A lot of pundits in football don't like that, do they? They'd rather see the window close a little bit earlier. But crucially, Leicester believe that they can keep him and make him happy again if the window closes and he's still a Leicester player. So they're holding out for the full amount of money. They're not going to reduce the asking price. That would be a, a real challenge, wouldn't it, for Brendan Rodgers to, to make sure that that he is still happy if at the moment he's not in the right frame of mind um, to, to play. But Leicester do have a history of holding out for the fee they want yeah. and getting it. Yeah, I mean, look, the most obvious of those is Riyad Mahrez, who went on strike um, uh, in terms of training and playing for Leicester when he was trying to force the through, a move through to Manchester City. And he didn't move in that window. Leicester really held firm, and it was only when they got £50 million pounds in the summer, the following window, sort of six months later, that they let Riyad Mahrez go. So Wesley Fofana has probably got to be aware of that. But look, I mean, Brendan Rodgers is, is a very, very good man manager. And he treats these players like adults and he talks to them very, very openly. He really is good with them. And he admitted after the game on Saturday that this is difficult. This is, you know, a young player, 21 years old, who's had his mind turned, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. You know, the chance to move to Chelsea, one of the big four. Um, in, in England, in English football. But I think the message that the Leicester are trying to get over to Fafana is, look, you've only been here one season in the Premier League. You only had 20 games for St Etienne before then. Um, and, you know, you can still grow. You're still only 21 years old. You signed a five-year contract with us. And don't forget, of course, that Leicester played Chelsea at the weekend. <laughs> um, and we know that... Could Leicester be waiting till after that game? <sighs> but surely then again... They wouldn't Fana want probably to. won't be playing anyway. So. Yeah, but, but I mean, look, it, I think it's easy enough for Leicester to say if they reach an agreement, if Chelsea come in with £82 million, pounds, let's say, yes, OK, but he can't play against us at the weekend. Mm. That, that happens all the time. I don't yeah. think that's a, yeah, that's a particularly difficult situation there. And actually, if this is going to happen, Leicester would want it to happen as soon as possible because they'd need to go out and buy a replacement, at least one of the centre-back, possibly two. So the later it goes, the harder it is for Leicester. So no, I don't think they're holding out for this game at the weekend. Um, but it's going to be really significant. It's all we're going to be talking about, isn't it? I mean, Chelsea had a, a poor result at the weekend. Leicester had a poor result at the weekend. But this subtext of Wesley Fofana's future and Chelsea being absolutely desperate to sign him, Thomas Tuchel's number one target now, Leicester holding out for maximum value, it's going to make that game even more interesting than it would have been otherwise, isn't it? Le 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 you, you've mentioned this, but Leicester have got all the power because of that five-year contract only a few months ago. You know, they, they don't have that pressure to sell unless the player really puts the the pressure on him but in terms of once we get to the end of the day on the 1st of, of September uh, which is deadline day it's so hard to predict yeah. which blue he's going to be in yeah it is it is and look the, when I wrote a piece on this about a week 10 days ago uh, I said Leicester are holding firm they don't want to sell him they think his value is going to increase he's only 21 he's had one season in the Premier League how much better is he going to be how much more is his value going to increase that's that's the Leicester business model there you see if you like they don't they don't want to sell him now they'll sell him at what they believe is his peak which is yet to come but the one difficulty that I wrote in that piece is if Wesley Fofana wants to go mm. and he's really unsettled and he's unhappy and they can't get the best out of him, what happens then? Yes, he's got a five-year contract, 
Um, and as I say, the crucial factor here is that I've been told that the Leicester hierarchy believe that once the window closes, they can settle him down again. Mm. I think in an ideal scenario, Leicester keep him and they sell him maybe next summer or even the summer after that. When he's a little bit older, Leicester have got some more game time out of him. He's a better player. They may get even more than £80 million. That's in their eyes because they believe he is that good. And Chelsea clearly believe he's that good as well. So I think it's going to be a really interesting one. At the end of the day, it's, it's pure nuts and bolts. Leicester will sell, I suspect, for £80, £85 million. Are Chelsea prepared to spend £80, £85 million on Wesley Fofana? If they are, they get him. It's Rob, as simple as that. Do you think that they've lined up a replacement? Because obviously you said that you know, they're, they're hell-bent on, on keeping him in the squad and, and Rodgers has spoke about how key he is to their system and that he's still young. Do you think that that's one of the biggest problems as well, actually replacing him? Absolutely, that's a massive problem. My understanding is, is the man on your screen now, Brennan Rodgers, has identified a number of targets that he wants as centre-back anyway. And they want to move out a number of fringe players first because Leicester have issues with financial fair play. They've got a big squad. They've got a number of players that are not involved in the match day squad. Bakari Samare, Ryan Bertrand, uh, Kagla Soyuncu, Yester Vest uh, Yannick Vestergaard. All of these players they would happily take offers for and they would like to get out of the squad, but they can't. They seem to be hitting a brick wall there and they want to get those out before they spend any more. Um, if they were to get £80 million plus for Wesley Fofana, yeah, I think they've got plenty of ideas of who they'd like to go for. But of course you then face with a scenario that whoever's buying, whoever's selling that player knows you've just got 80 million quid for a defender. How much is that price going to increase? Leicester experienced that when they sold Harry Maguire. So it's a really tricky situation. I think, but it, all of that is noise. The bottom line is Leicester don't want to sell him. They think his value is going to go up. Chelsea desperately want to sign him. He's Thomas Tuchel's number one. Can they reach a, a level? Can they reach a price that Leicester are happy with? And what we've learned today, the new bit of information is Leicester aren't going to give him away on the cheap or reduce those expectations of a fee just because Wesley Fofana is unsettled and he was dropped at the weekend. Yeah, right. It's fascinating stuff. Rob, thank you.